spellbound to come across some amazing places in Second Life that are so gorgeous you want to share them, show them off. One cool way you can do that is with a profile pic, and I'm going to show you how to do just that. So the first prerequisite is you need to be at a cool place. <laughs> Let's get it closer and closer. Well, as I'm walking, I can show you this here. So if we open the sidebar, my profile tab right here, and we go to my picks, notice right here, if you click the plus, you can create a new pick, and this creates it at your current location. So I actually wanna get closer. I see a very cool piano there. And I'd like to take a shot because I have a thing for pianos. I play pianos. Okay, so even I can click, right click, and sit on there. I'm gonna hold down Alt and then click so I can move the camera around. That will make a pretty awesome shot. So let's click here and new pick. Now this doesn't get the photo in here yet. You notice there's an X. Some places have photos that are predetermined by what's in the place profile if I click here. Notice there's nothing for this place as oddly beautiful as it is. So let's go back to my profile where it's still on edit pick. And I'm glad I have it here. You can add something, you can edit like has nice piano. And then we'll save that pick. So it's here. What we want to do next is take a picture, a picture that can be applied on your pics as well as inside your profile if you want to replace one of these. The basic means is the same. It's very, very good to know this. Click the camera icon to take a snapshot, takes a snapshot. You don't need to worry about this stuff. I have this open because I'm an advanced photographer. <laughs> and by the way, if you have problems moving your camera around, use the view controls. This can help you. And some of the presets, time to time, you want to take a picture of yourself facing. If you have it on front view, whoops, that's a bit hard in there. But if I were to stand, let me show you how this works. There, it's, e it's easier to show your front, your back, side to side. But we've already taken a picture that is looking gorgeous. I think it does justice to this place. So let's save it. So it stays in there. Notice that as long as you keep this open and we can click. So now we get a picture, it's developing. It's gonna go from gray to fuzzy to very clear. Go back right here, my profile, my pics. And whenever you need to edit a pic, you need to view it in more detail like this. So go ahead and click that, or you can right click it and edit it as well. That's another way, right clicking often does wonders. So let's edit it. And now, see this picture here? We wanna click this X, and it's gonna ask us to select one from our inventory, which is in gonna be in the photo album. That's where these new pictures which you just take end up. Aha, there it is. If you're not sure which one, you can click on various ones and it shows the thumbnail so you get an idea and updates live, so okay. And then we can go ahead and save pick. At any time, if you wanna change the precise location of your pick, which means when other people teleport upon viewing your pick, then they'll end up there. Depends on the landing point too. There's there's different sorts of variables. Don't worry about that too much right now, but let's go ahead and save the pick because now it's right in there and other residents, when they're looking at my profile, they'll see that I have cadenza with a nice piano. Not only do I say there is a nice piano, there is a picture of it. And of course, as you're wandering Second Life, if you go to the people tab and there's no one nearby right now, let's go out and let's scope because this is a cool way to browse for places to visit in the future. I do this tons. Oh, there's swings too. This is really, okay. Rosie Loxley, let's have a look. Let's go and click this arrow to view her profile and let's see if she has any pics. Oh, she does. She has a pic called Pimp <laughs> Aqua Shores. I'm, I'm not quite sure what that might be yet without visiting, but thankfully there are pictures, but Again, no picture for Cadenza. So where there's no picture, or even if there is a picture, you can replace that with something more personal that shows off your memories. Don't forget the camera controls. They're essential to taking wonderful, wonderful pictures. Like here, if I want to go up there and take a picture of my front side versus the sun, let me just close this as a closing comment, and you're trying, having a hard time, view the camera presets right here, make sure that's clicked, and then your front view. 
and that will easier allow you to move up and down if you want to use these controls you can pan it like that pan panopolis like that and get a picture that you fancy but I highly recommend, I prefer cording on the keyboard, like I hold down the Alt key, hold down Alt and Control, hold down Alt and Control and Shift. Yeah, I can get crazy. I'm gonna do more tutorials on advanced camera work, but I find that's a faster way to get gorgeous results. Happy picking. <laughs>